Okay, three, two, one, go. So St. Francis is interesting because um, he came to a point in his, quote, spiritual unfolding where he understood the secret language of birds. And um, he was actually able to, from his heart, communicate with the various animals, or at least so the legend goes. And then it's interesting because now I'm reading a book on the brain and perception. Uh, Carl Pribram, actually, my friend, actually had a book called Brain and Perception, which was a weighty tome. This is another weighty tome. It's I think it's Time in the Mind or Mind in the Time or something like that. And it's all about how our perceptions are not based on spatial awareness, but they're based on transforms in time but this transform in time cannot be related to what the brain is actually doing it is the mind and the mind itself is holographic and that holographic mind is featureless so to me that actually is talking about the the ether and i'm equating the ether now with um perhaps with enlightenment because it's 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 a featureless state that cannot be detected cannot be shared from a sensory based experience and the ether is something that actually only is noticed or is measurable when something acts upon it and so this gentleman who is writing this very amazing book that i'm studying um was actually had an enlightenment experience of his own where he was he went from the military he had to go to Vietnam and he was and then he um, actually was on his porch and after the military and he and he became a Franciscan monk uh, the, uh, left out of part. He became a here's the connection link. He became a Franciscan monk and he stayed for only about eight months. But then he had an enlightenment experience where everything became love. And now he's writing about the physics of consciousness. And he starts out with one of my favorite references, which is Douglas Harding on having no head. So when I don't have anything to say and I have no head at all, I still manage something. So good to see you. See you next week.